The chief of Pakistan Air Force met with Chinese Defense Minister in Beijing, where he was assured that Pakistan could acquire Chinese sixth-generation fighter jets by 2030. Indian Air Force's Su-30 fighter jets flew through the Vorikos Canyon during its deployment at the Inakos Multinational Joint Exercise 2025 in Greece. Indian Army operated Heron TP crashed within the high-security technical area of Jammu Airport critically injuring an Indian Air Force personnel. After not paying its share of the cost of the South Korean KF-21 program, the Indonesian president has announced that Indonesia wants to participate in Turkey's Khan fifth-generation fighter jet project. While the National Investigation Agency has taken the Mumbai terror attacks mastermind Hussein Rana into 18-day custody, Pakistan has distanced itself from Hussein Rana saying that he holds Canadian nationality, and he had not renewed his Pakistani documents for over two decades. Even if the Rafale Marine deal is signed this month, the first batch of these French-built carrier-capable jets won't be delivered until late 2030 at the earliest. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has told the UAE Defence Minister that India is interested to collaborate with the UAE on co-production and co-development of weapon systems and innovation in future defence technologies. The Indian Army has initiated the acquisition of foliage penetration radars on UAV that will greatly enhance the Army's counter-terror operations in forested areas. The Sri Lankan Air Force has chosen to extend the life of its aging fleet of Kafir fighter jets, rejecting competitive offers from India and China for the Tejas Mark 1A and JF-17. India and Kazakhstan discussed military training joint exercises capacity building and defense industrial collaboration during the seventh meeting of the Joint Working Group on Defense Cooperation. According to a report by ANI Media, the upcoming TED-BF is likely to serve as the naval counterpart to the AMCA, that is being crafted for the Indian Air Force, which hints at a significant evolution in the TED-BF program from a 4.5-generation platform to a full-fledged fifth-generation stealth jet. The critical design review phase of the TED-BF is targeted for completion by early 2025, and experts have said that the shift to fifth-generation specifications would demand significant redesign, that includes air intakes, fuselage shaping, stealth and internal weapons bay. The Ministry of Defence today granted the acceptance of necessity for procurement of 105mm 37 caliber mounted gun system for the Indian Army, and the system will be procured under by Indian category. Kaliani Strategic Systems will offer its Garuda 4x4 ultralight weight gun system in the competition, which has already undergone rigorous firing and mobility trials, and even successfully completed airdrop operation from C-17 aircraft. The Indian Air Force has unveiled plans to acquire the Alpha S air-launched flexible asset swarm drone system, which can be launched from fighter jets like the Tejas and Su-30, that will have the capability to saturate enemy air defenses, gather intelligence and strike high-value targets. It will feature advanced automatic target recognition capabilities, and will be powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.